Next question is from Josem279. How much protein do you guys recommend? How much do you each consume? Oh, yeah. The protein. The magic mat ma uh, macronutrient. Mm -hmm. So protein, um, I'm going to speak generally and then I'll speak more specifically. Generally speaking, studies are pretty conclusive. There's a lot of studies on this. And what they find is for an athlete, for somebody who wants to build muscle, for someone who wants to maximize recovery, build strength, prevent muscle loss while dieting, so all those things, uh, you want to consume about 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 or 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. Okay, So if you weigh 100 pounds, that would be 60 to 100 grams of protein. Okay, So 0 0.6 to 1 gram per pound. Of, and this is Now, this is true for non-obese individuals. If you have a lot of body fat on your body, don't use your weight. Use your lean body mass um, as your gauge. Now, that being said, there's an individual variance when it comes to protein. I've worked with a few, not a lot of clients, but I've worked with a few clients where, you know, when they started to push the protein, their digestion wasn't good. They didn't feel good. And so these clients did better on the lower end of that scale. And then I've worked with other people who just thrive off of protein and who push it even above one gram of protein per pound of body weight and seem to do great. So, you know, at the end of the day, you really got to listen to your body. But the studies generally do show that a high protein diet uh, is superior. Well, I've also met people that are like, and myself, where if I'm not eating protein, muscle falls off my body. It just it I my body just falls off falls right <laughs> off, dude. It's, Where'd it go? Yeah, under you the might couch. Need to see a doctor, I, I mean, it's not it's <laughs> it's uh it's hard for me. I don't I, I and I don't know if it's because I grew up eating a ton of sugar and carbs and that was the main source of calories for most of my life. Although I like to think that I've trained myself to be like meat first, protein first type of eater. I still find myself if I'm not tracking diligently or really mindfully going after protein. I undereat it. I mean, just the other day, I had I had a pound of steak, I had four eggs, a piece of beef jerky, and something else that had protein. That's still under. Mm -hmm. That's still under 150 yeah. grams. So that's you know four different sittings that I'm going after protein. Still not enough protein to hit my 180 200 mark. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, and and for me, I know as soon as I fall off of that, and I'm not making effort to do that, and then you add in the fact I'm not going to the gym and lifting as consistently, and then the muscle just falls off my body uh, really really quick. So you know, it, it really does depend on the person. Then I've noticed other people who, you know, my ex who was a competitor. I mean, she could eat uh, 800 calories and 40 grams of protein, and that girl kept muscle on all the time. Like she did nothing; it would took everything out of her to to just lose a pound on the scale. So everybody's body is different, and so you need to figure out if that is it. But I, it, I tell you, it's, it's, it was a missing key for me. It was a key for a long time that I really didn't focus on when I began tracking and like said, okay, in fact, I remember going through a phase where I was like, all I'm going to focus on is protein. I'm not going to worry about my carbs. I'm not going to worry about my fat. I'm going to just make sure I hit that one gram of protein per lean body mass and see what happens. And I tell you, you know, I, I never put together a streak like that. And my body was another one of those, you know, paradigm shattering moments we always talk about on this show. That was one of them for me. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I found about 130 grams of protein a day is pretty good, which is not a ton when you can. Right now, I weigh about 200 and maybe 10 pounds. I, I've gone as high as 240, 250 grams of protein. Mm. My digestion goes a little off when that happens. You start to get the. You know, the notorious, well, you're throwing more shakes in at that point, right? Yeah, and you get the notorious, you know, you know, bodybuilder farts and all that yeah, stuff, oh, which yeah. is oh. not a great sign. Not fun. But uh, again, about 130 grams of protein um, is good for me. If I if I go a little higher on that, I'm good. When I start to go below that, I start to notice that you know I'm not as solid. I'm not recovering as fast. So that's that's my number. Yeah, I'm just constantly seeking protein uh, in my diet alongside, uh, you know, fats and, and vegetables and cheese. Uh, <laughs> Which you can't. That's the background of Fat and cheese, dude. Yeah. Fat and protein. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't really do as well on carbs. So I I use carbs more as a way of like uh, planning out the fact that I'm going to have a, a more uh, intense, like endurance filled type of a workout where. Uh, I, I need a little bit more uh, in the workout, so then I'll up my carbs for the, for the day or, or you know the day before to give me adequate uh, energy. But other than that, I'm just really manipulating my energy with carbs more than anything, and staying pretty consistent with the amount of uh, protein I eat. Mm. 